Hello, I'm Sarah Fennick. Welcome to CNR News Club Headlines, where we report the news that's making changes and feature blogs that are making a difference. The power and importance of blogging in business is being showcased at a one-day event in Limassol's Carob Mill on December 9th, organised by Anirot Development. I'm joining another nine speakers who will give short and inspiring talks about the different aspects of writing for the internet. You can book your ticket and get more information about the event on the website www.businessbehindblogging.com. And now for the main news. President Nikos Anastasiadis said he is concerned over the situation created by Turkey's unacceptable shooting down of a Russian warplane and expressed condolences to Russia and the Russian people for the loss of their pilots' lives. In another development after Turkey downed a Russian warplane in Syria, Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov has rejected a meeting with Turkish Cypriot leader Mustafa Akinci in the Turkish-held north of Cyprus, said Russian Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zaharova. <laughs> President Anastasiadis and Turkish Cypriot leader Mustafa Akinci agreed to form an educational committee to review existing educational systems. After a three-day manhunt, police have arrested the triple murderer Christos Thoma in Lanya village not far from Limassol. Thoma has confessed to killing three young men in a crime of passion on November 24th. 31-year-old Limassol resident Christos Thoma triggered a manhunt after allegedly murdering three men on Anaxarcisia Street at 7.30 p.m. on November 24th. Helicopters crisscrossed the skies over Lanaka and Limassol areas during the manhunt. He was arrested on the road between the villages of Lanya and Alassa. Thoma did not resist arrest and confessed to the murder shortly after being taken into custody. Brothers Baras Jos and Cosandinos Dorzi, aged 19 and 21, and their friend Emilios Miltiadus were all killed when the 31-year-old man attacked them with a knife after a fight over a woman in a restaurant in Hero Square. The perpetrator threatened them with a knife while they were in Thomas's father's restaurant and they fled in fear of their lives. He then chased after them, killing them on the road in a stabbing frenzy and fleeing the scene of the carnage, said police. Baras Jos and Constantinos were part of Crisos Thomas's social circle. The suspect's 62-year-old father was arrested early in the morning of November 25th. Both men have been in trouble in the past for burglaries, theft and drug dealing. Father of two, Christos Thoma, had a violent background and was involved in extremist football hooligan gang 1312 while being heavily into martial arts and bodybuilding, likely with the addition of steroids. In the aftermath of several violent episodes against Turkish Cypriots by students with extremist views, President Nikos Anastasiadis and Turkish Cypriot leader Mustafa Akinci agreed to form an educational committee to review existing educational systems and research how education can counter prejudice and discrimination. The decision was made during a meeting on November 25th, the sixth in a round of intensified reunification talks. Anastasiadis said that as long as talks continue in a positive way, then he has hopes of reaching a solution to the Cyprus problem. Educational systems in the Greek and Turkish Cypriot communities have been completely segregated since the Turkish invasion of 1974, resulting in opposing perspectives that in some cases distort historical facts. <laughs> President Nasasiadi said he is concerned over the situation created by Turkey's unacceptable shooting down of a Russian warplane and expressed condolences to Russia and the Russian people for the loss of their pilots' lives. Coming at a time when there is a coordinated operation by the international community to combat terrorism in Syria, Turkey's actions are undermining the efforts by Russia and the EU, said, pres said the president. By shooting down the warplane, Turkey has demonstrated that it supports ISIS terrorists, said House Speaker Yanaki Tomiru, who condemned Turkey's actions. On November 24th, Turkey shot down a Russian warplane inside Syria's borders as it was bombing extremist militants in the Latakia region, claiming that it had entered Turkish airspace and had bombed Turkmen villages in the area. Looking at the situation from a regional point of view, Turkey was sending a message to its rival Russia to stay away from its interests in the area. With a long history of wars between the two world powers, Turkey's actions have ratcheted up the tensions to much higher levels. Uh, Turkey's long-term policy has been to expand and exert control over the Syrian border, Cyprus and Greece, and Russia has always been seen as a counterweight to its regional belligerents. Russian um, Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov uh, drew the line at going to war with Turkey, but said the provocation had been pre-planned and that Russia would reconsider its bilateral ties. Thanks for watching CNR News Club headlines. Please follow us on Twitter and Facebook. You'll see the links on your screen or just search for cyprusnewsreport.com. You're more than welcome to join CNR News Club and start your own blog. Visit www.cyprusnewsreport.com to learn more. 
That's all she wrote for this week. Goodbye for now.